Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Uh, my name is Kevin Hatfield. I'm the Assistant Director for Academic Initiatives with University Housing, and it's my distinct honor to welcome all of you to the Earl International House Kitchen this evening for the second annual University of Oregon Iron Chef competition. Uh, yes. <laughs> Just want to briefly acknowledge some of the folks who work behind the scenes to make this event possible. Uh, this is a, a Community Conversations event, and the Community Conversations is a living learning initiative series of university housing. And there are two student groups that work very feverishly behind the scenes to brainstorm these events and actually bring them to reality, and that's the Hamilton Think Tank and the Walton Advisory Board. Uh, tonight's event was specifically planned by the students of the Walton Advisory Board, many of which are serving on our two student teams this evening. And so I just want to encourage anyone who would be interesting, who, interested and interesting in, in joining the Walton Advisory Board. We meet every Wednesday at 5 p.m. in the DeMent Lounge, and we'd love to have your ideas. So if you'd like to plan events like this in the future, uh, please consider dropping by or becoming a member of the Walton Advisory Board. We'd love to have you. Uh, I also want to mention uh, some thanks to Chef Doug Lang, who is our central kitchen chef who helped organize this event. And Tom Driscoll, and I don't know if Tom is with us this evening, but he also plays a pivotal role in organizing this. Tom is the Director of Food Services for University Housing. So Tom, wherever you are, thank you as well for helping put this together. He went out to dinner. Okay, maybe he did. <laughs> And without further ado, I want to introduce uh, Chef Clive Wanstall, who we're honored to have returning as our host and commentator for this evening. And in just a moment, Chef Wanstall is going to be introducing the two student teams, as well as the coaches who are working with the two student teams. And he will also be co-officiating this evening's extravaganza with Chef Doug Lang. And he'll be doing some commentary, some impromptu interviews, kind of roaming through the kitchen. And we'll have that projected live for you on the screen, as well as the audio amplified for the room. So you'll get a sense of the, the live action. And so just a little bit about Chef Wanstall. He graduated from the Thanet Technical College's Professional Cookery Program in Kent, England. And I don't know if he wants me to give away his age, so I won't mention the year he graduated. So I'm really old. <laughs> He's been with Lane Community College's Culinary Arts and Hospitality Management Program since 1999. Uh, he was also the restaurant manager at Ambrosia Restaurant in Eugene. And he teaches classical French, Italian, Middle Eastern, and Cantonese cuisine. And so again, we're honored to have Chef Clive Wanstall back to host us this evening. <laughs> I'm just going to mention briefly about our judging, and then I'll let Chef Lang and Chef Wansall describe the competition rules a bit more. Uh, we have three celebrity judges who will introduce um, as the action begins this evening. But I also want to mention we have room for two more judges, and we want to draw those judges randomly from the audience. Uh, there's a ballot box for you to drop your name into, and we'll draw two individuals from the audience to be judges this evening. So please, if you haven't already voted, and only vote once, we'll be on the honor system tonight. Uh, you'll have a seat of honor next to the other judges. And without further ado, I'm going to turn this over to Chef Clive. Oh. Well, I need the mic. <laughs> hey, welcome to our Iron Chef tonight. I want to go straight into uh, the introduction of the teams. They are very excited to get cooking, so we're going to fly through these introductions and let them have at it. And then we'll catch up as we go along. We, we will promise to disturb you occasionally, don't worry. So, uh, without further ado, uh, I would like to bring forward uh, Tana, who is the, uh, the, the head person, uh, literally, I guess, <laughs> of uh, Team Ghostbusters. Come on down. Come, come forward. Come on. Okay. Yeah. You would you like to say something interesting? No. Um... No. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. Okay. All right. Would you like to introduce your uh, co-workers here tonight? Um, this is Jay Cromwell. Come forward, Kurt. Come on, Jay. Give me a big hand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey, tell us a little bit about yourself in um, one word. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. And, and this is your friend who oh, is? This is Katie. Katie. Katie, come on down. We all live in the map. All right, okay. So where do you all live? Dement. Dement? Later. I live back. Is that like dementia? Oh. Oh, okay. All right, okay. So uh, you're going to step back and let the other team come on down? Okay. Hang on, hang on. I've lost, I've lost my place. 
Kim says he swaps something. We should Kim. be unforgivable. Oh, you're going to all come down together? Okay, all right, come on, Kim. Oh. Okay. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Because you can, you know. You, you can have the Oh, you got the mic. Is it on? Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Can you say something to see if it works? Hi. Oh, that's great. All right. What What's your name? My name's Kim. All righty. And you're the team leader? Um, actually, we're all in it together. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Good job. I okay. said that. Okay. I'm Audrey. Hi, Hi, Audrey. And? I'm Maddie. I'm Maddie. Woo! Okay. All right. So the clock's going to start very quickly here. So we're going to start at quarter to eight. That's about uh, 70 seconds from now. And we're going to be serving at quarter to nine. So while, while they're getting all tensed up and ready to rock and roll, I'd like to introduce their coaches, the, the brave professionals that took this on. And uh, where, where should we start? We should, we'll, start we'll start with Tanner's coach. Come on down. All right. Okay. <laughs> Tell everybody who you are. Robert. Hi, Robert. And where do you work? Fire and Spice. Yeah. So you dance the big old grill, huh? Yep. That's how you <laughs> keep so trim. Trim? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right. Okay. Do you have any last-minute points of advice for these kids? Have fun. There you go. Good. Okay. And Dore, you've got Yay! five seconds. You can start. We got five seconds. I'm gonna be cooking. All right. Where'd you work, Dory? I'm from uh, Ducks Bistro. Really? And uh, do you like it there? I love it. And as you see, everybody goes there. Every <laughs> <laughs> it takes about 45 minutes to get a cup of coffee. I've been told. All right. Okay. The clock has started. Start cooking. All right. Oh. We're going to uh, just let them settle down for a minute and uh, make a general mess. Um, we're going to. Uh, let them settle down, and uh, I'm going to uh, encourage them to keep this area clean so you get a good, good visual of all the damage they're doing as we go along. Yeah. Yeah. Chopping garlic. No, nice. Ah, we know how to turn a switch. Okay. So um, I'll actually, uh, I, I do allow the judges, encourage them to uh, participate at a higher level. If the judges should be so deeply moved to come and look in the kitchen every now and again, that's fine with us. We love to see visitors. Katie, that means you. Not, not more than six at a time, though. Oh, there's only four of you. That's good. <laughs> Eric, come on up. Yeah, Eric for a competition. Pocket. And Pocket. Pocket's a judge. So come on up. <laughs> so Eric and Pocket, you've got two seats over on the judges' table. You can look at the criteria oh, yes, for did. judging and then take a look at We've the teamwork. Pretty pretty much pretty much All right, while our judges are settling in, we have two uh, surprise dinners prepared for those chaps over there. Uh, do they know about the small entry fee that they have to pay? I think it's like $50. But they each get two dinners. I think they're fine. So uh, the returning team is led by Kim. Kim Almond. Close. Close. Well, tell me what it is. Almond. Almond. I thought that's what I said. Close. Close. I'm taking English as a second language. <laughs> All right. So uh, you you brought back your team from last year. You're the returning champions. We are. You are. But don't and tell. I won't. It's our secret. Yeah. Okay, so uh, how long you known these cats? Well, one I've known since preschool. That's Maddie, who's doing the chicken. And then the other one we've both known since elementary school, which is Audrey, who's doing the potatoes. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> so that's quite a while. Yeah. It's and you're all going to U of O together as well. Lucky us. Lucky you. You've been, at, you've been at the U of O since preschool? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Going to the same school. Wow, there's camaraderie right there. So do you cook together at home much? Do you uh, no. hang with the... Uh... Um, 
Audrey actually cooks more than both of us. She's doing a cooking class right now. Oh, really? Where's she impressive. taking cooking classes? Here. At the health center. At the, At the health, health center. center. Is it healthy food? Vegetarian. Vegetarian. She brought some tofu over to my house today. It was, looked yummy. And, and she, that's, is that why she's doing the potatoes? Yeah. Actually, I was, I, I'm the vegetarian of the group, so. Oh, you are? I just said I wouldn't do the chicken. Ah, are you gonna, did you taste the chicken? No. Oh. I'll taste it for you. Okay. I might save some for the judges. Okay. Maybe. Boy, how much garlic you peeling? Well, uh, That's a donkey load. I don't want to miss out on any. No, 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 no. It's good for you. Yeah. What are you going to be doing with the garlic? Um, well, we're going to do a couple of things. I'm going to give some to Audrey to put on the potatoes. Um, it goes in our dressing, and it goes um, oh, on our croutons. Wow. So pretty much everything you're cooking has got garlic in it. Yeah. Yeah. We thought, yeah. We, uh, we thought we'd go a little Paula Deen, uh, uh, you know, very. garlic and sugar and grease. Yeah, there you go. The, the three main food groups right there. Exactly. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nodding <laughs> in the back there, yeah. I'll go for that. Okay, I'm going to uh, leave you alone to uh, diddle with your garlic. Oh, I thank you. Can I put yeah. this in there? Enjoy. Do you, do you need me to go out and get you some more? I think Market of Choice is still open. They've probably got a couple hundred pounds. Well, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, all right. Can you yeah. lend me $1,000 to get the garlic? No, I, th I thought that that was part of your entry fee. Oh, okay. I'm gonna Doug, put that lend me $1,000. Okay, but okay. we need the butter, butter and stuff. Okay, so what are you doing? Wow, I'm making Parmesan chicken. Uh -huh. and, and what's the process of making okay. Parmesan um, chicken? Now we know what the secret ingredient is. Um, well, right now I'm just skinning the, skinning the chicken, yeah, and I've already set butter. out all the ingredients I need for breading it, and then eventually I'll cook it in the pan. Oh, yummy. What, are you going to uh, fry it in olive oil or uh, butter? or? Both. Bo oh, olive oil and butter. Yeah, it's covered all the bases. Uh, is there any mandatory garlic in there? No. <laughs> oh, so they're, we're actually saving some garlic for something else. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, nice. Not the chicken. All right. I smell something burning. Is that good? Doré's smiling. He's used to that smell, maybe. Oh! <laughs> it's the chicken's in sauce right now. It looks like it. So you're marinating it in... Uh, what's the ingredients of this wonderful marinade? They look fabulous. Well, some of them are secret. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's like chili flakes, uh, peanut butter, garlic, um, some soy sauce. It's a Thai dish, so. Uh-huh. It looks great. I love the way you're weaving it on the, the bamboo skewer. It looks yeah. super. And, and what are you doing with the skewers over here? They look like they're floating around in water. Um, well, we're going to grill all these later, and so, it's so the skewers don't catch fire. Ah, so you're soaking them so they don't catch a light? Oh, that's a great idea. So, uh, where's the grill? You Where got a barbecue it? going somewhere? What? Um, we have a grill pan. It's in the oven heating up. It's what? Oh, is it, uh, what? what's it made of? It's uh, cast iron. Oh yeah, so it weighs about oh, two hundred pounds. Do you know that they? Yeah, it's really heavy. <laughs> don't drop, don't drop it on your foot. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I'll be asking for it. I'm sure. Uh, a little bit too much enjoyment in the back of the kitchen here. I don't know what they're drinking. Probably the marinade. Uh, what are you going to do with the vegetables? Um, make a medley of vegetables. Uh huh. Pretty much. Okay. A medley. Yeah. As asparagus, Sorry. bell That's peppers. That's okay. I mean, either way, onions, doesn't it work? Carrots <laughs> and shiitake mushrooms. Alrighty, sounds good. I don't know why I'm pointing the mic at you. You got your own. Yeah. Can it can <laughs> it hear you all the way up there? I don't know. I was worried. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. And, and, Oh, good. Cool. Well, I could, I could put my mic down. Okay, so what kind of mushrooms do you have over there, old chap? Shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms, very good. I hate mushrooms, actually, but now, like when we practice this, I really liked them, so I don't know. You're a convert. Oh, yeah, I think so. So you, now you're officially a fun guy. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I don't know. Thank you. The old ones are the best, thank you. There's more to this come, don't worry. Best. Okay, what else? You got bean sprouts there? Yeah, um, we probably won't use those actually. 
Oh, okay. They're just there for like, yeah, add an accent to the evening. Yeah, just to keep people guessing. Little pan Asian innuendo, as you say. Yeah. And asparagus, are you going to use those? Definitely, yeah. Oh, okay. And what's that? Tucked away carrots? Carrots, yeah. All right. Well, th these are pretty. Is this you? Yeah. Well, aren't you the. Oh, look. And you're so what are you soaking them in? Ice water. Ice water? Oh, look. He's making little flowers of green <laughs> onions. And they're so cute. Oh, did you get these to your mother on Mother's Day? No. I love you, Mummy. <laughs> I bought you a bunch of green onions. No. No, didn't no, work I for didn't, me. I didn't get to see you. Yet. I did it once, it never worked. Well, enjoy. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. I'll try and get Doug to do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Doug, tell us a little bit about your involvement in this activity. Come over so we can get in the middle of the crowd and uh, make sure that they have to bump into us while we're talking. Well, the teams have both been uh, emailing me back and forth like crazy, letting me know what their uh, ingredients are going to be, what uh, supplies they're going to be needing. What? Um, oh, and by the way, thanks for not CCing me. I appreciate that. What? Next no. year. We wanted to surprise you. <laughs> and make it more exciting for the, uh, the, well, the uh, opening you. night. Oh, absolutely. So that's how it works. Is they let me know what ingredients they want to have, what supplies they need to have, and oh, okay. I arrange it for them. We, we uh, have everything okay. in this room for them to practice, each team, okay. not together, with their coach. And they go at it, and they find out what they forgot, Are you doing what things okay, didn't work. And they revise yeah. their list, and they keep okay, emailing okay. me. And there's probably been at least a half dozen emails from each team, and tried to, you know, organize this. And we got it together today, and here they are. So there is a criteria. And, uh, they have to create four entrees. Yeah, four entrees okay. using this. Uh, it's called an airline chicken breast. It's uh, the first wing bone piece is still attached. Why they call it an airline breast? Does it fall off the plane or something? Yeah, like that? yeah that terminology comes back from the, the 60s when they actually served a meal on the airplane. Okay. I don't want to hurt As you. As opposed to what they serve on airplanes right. now. Yeah, the pretzels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Peanuts, yeah. yeah. So it, it has that wing piece on there okay, too. I'm going so yeah, it, it, it was originally called the hotel cut, probably in the 50s. But in the 60s, it, it took on the, the name airline breast. So last year, we used the four ounce boneless, skinless chicken breast. And we decided since we had a team that competed last year, we'd make it a little so bit more I'm challenging, a little more interesting by having a little bit larger of a chicken breast with a wing piece attached and has skin on. So I think that made it a little bit more interesting this year. Yeah, I think so. It gives them a little bit more option of uh, what to do with it. I, I notice we have some uh, Parmesan crisps. I'm gonna, I'll be right back, Chef. I've got to go look at the crisps. Well, these look like fun. Can I uh, lift them up and show no. the team they're going to oh, fall? Yeah. Can I turn it upside down and shake it? Would you mind? No. All right. What are these things here? Parmesan crisps. Parmesan crisps. And how'd you make Parmesan crisps? I took pre-grated Parmesan. No, I, think, I think your mic's on. I don't know why I'm holding this. I took pre-grated Parmesan and I just put it down. Uh -huh. Put it in the oven. I think you used the substitution tonight. I think you had one of those whimsical moments. Oh, that's Didn't we true. use ASIO? Asiago? Yeah. But to the untrained eye, doesn't matter. It looks very parmesan to me and definitely very crisp. So yes. uh, the, the, you basically bake them in the oven and they're going to mm -hmm. cool down and, and then they become crisp? Yeah, we're, we did them first so that they could cool. And now we're just going to wait, see what happens. Fabulous. They look super darling. Thank you. Perfectly unburnt. Yeah. That's what we like. That's what we That's went for. That's worth half a point right there. Yeah. <laughs> Judges picking up. I don't think they're paying attention. <laughs> they're, not, they're, they're, they're trying to get the cable channels over there. They're actually famished, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I have the aioli. I'm you have the aioli. So yeah. this time, the garlic and the garlic, uh-huh, put a little bit of garlic. You can never have too much. No. no olive oil. Yeah. No. That's a rule, actually. Uh, too, you can't have too much olive oil or garlic. Really. Or butter. Yeah, that's true. And or the, garlic. And together as well. But, and you can't have too much butter until the doctor tells you so. Yeah. It's smelling. Then it doesn't matter what it is because it's going to be fine. Okay, so then we go. Oh, 
So you're making the uh, garlic butter for our uh, toast here? Well, actually, uh -huh. it goes in everything. So yeah. You'll see. So, so, so you're multitasking. Yeah, I'm... In one it's, bowl. It's like the base, and then it goes into the croutons and the dressing. So it'll go on the salad, too. That's very efficient of you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Clive, how's it going? Hey, what's up, Bubba? How's it going up there? Just cut mushrooms. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. I see you noticed, I noticed you're taking the uh, stems off. Yeah, they're kind of hard. A little woody, are they? Yeah. Yeah. I use them for stock. Do you like mushrooms? I love mushrooms. I also am a fun guy. <laughs> same gag twice in the same night. Yeah, you're a funny guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you cooking these vegetables when it comes down to the nitty gritty? Uh, in a pan, on an oven. Yeah. Quick saute. Oh, in the oven? Not in the oven. On Just top. Just a, a quick Front fry. Day. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. I'm, I'm going to uh, introduce the judges and uh, find out who the... Oh, it's going to be tricky. The mics are going to give us uh, some feedback. Can I <laughs> I'll ask you to introduce yourself and what you do, do and what's your favourite colour? I'm going to get a little bit more. <laughs> Hi, my name's Actually, Clive and you I'm are... I might need help. My but name I is might, Jean Kate. I'm a sweet little, little old lady and my oh, favourite colour is green. Yeah. I like that. No, he told me to skip. And she is skip a green lava. My name is Carla Gary, and I work here at the University of Oregon. And my favorite color is fuchsia. Oh, very good. I know. My name is Sandy Schoonover, and I work for University Housing. And my favorite color is purple. Ah. Never saw, didn't see that coming at all. <laughs> uh, my name is Katie Mullen. I'm a student here at the university, and my favorite color is green. Yeah. My name is Eric. I'm a music student, and my favorite color is blue. Hi, my name is Steven, and I'm a student here at the university as well, and my favorite color is green. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Let's, let's hear it for the very important people. They are accepting brides. If you have a uh, relationship with the competent uh, people in there, then uh, just come by and slip them a 20 here and there. It might not change their voting at all. Probably would. Especially the students. So, uh, okay, what's your major, money man? Uh, digital arts. Digital arts, very nice. And your major, sir? I'm a music major. Yeah, take it. Oh, that's right. Oh, right. I, I wasn't listening when you introduced, okay. Okay. What's your major? Human phys, business, and biochemistry. That's it? Okay. She's kicking back this term. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Haven't heard of half of those things. <laughs> oh, boy, you can get, uh, get a good view from back here, actually. It looks like hard work over there. Okay, we're coming up for the uh, three-minute mark. The three-minute mark is where we conclude the 60 the minutes really of good, cooking. The they have a further five minutes to present their food. They are, they, the competitors are not allowed to present Pretty good, I think. prior to the 60 minutes to the judges, but they have up to five minutes I think after so. the 60 yeah. minute period to if serve anything, the judges. So they can so serve as early as 60 minutes and as late as 65. After that, right. we start jeering and throwing tomatoes at them. Hi, Mary. Tanner's team's elected to uh, commence the plating. 
Uh, this is not a race. They just happen to be ready before the other team. It's actually easier for the judges to get the plates in uh, a little bit of a staggered sequence. It's okay. It's all right. It's going to be cold. Are we ready? Will you grab this? <laughs> what are okay. we grabbing? No, just put it, yeah. Yeah, we should just move, move the chicken. Okay, you got it. Okay, okay so we, we have five minutes five from now okay. to serve to our judges. This is the five minute. I'll call you every one minute. Okay. So it looks like Team Ghostbusters are putting up their food right now. They are, their entree is a chicken satay with a peanut sauce. That's a kind of an Indonesian dish. Right a satay is generally okay. on a skewer, on woven onto a skewer okay. and grilled. And the traditional sauce is uh, uh, ground peanuts, a little can. bit of sesame. Uh, served on top of jasmine rice with the veg medley in a stir-fry sauce and they're going to accompany it with some Thai iced tea. Due to some complications with the uh, preparations of the menus, um, the other team does not have a beverage as it was not required. So we're going to... Oh, you got a beverage? Man, these guys are good. We're not judging the beverages, but we're going to provide... A my suggestion was beer. <laughs> okay, so what's the surprise beverage? Oh, um, ask him. Ask him? Yeah. Ask him? Kim. Oh, ask him. We're at the two minute mark right now. Got plenty of time, about 120 seconds. Okay, let's go. So we'll leave one plate. We'll leave one plate for this plate. Yeah. Right. We'll have the oh, uh, select the best plate. Okay. Right. Just select the best plate. So at this stage of the game, what's going to happen is the students, the competitors, are going to give us the plates for judging and keep the one that they think is the prettiest for display on the on the table here so without further ado which three would you like me to take for you and which one do you want to keep that's really pretty
We are about to close our window. We have 30 seconds left. Ladies and gentlemen, 30 seconds. That's the photo? Huh? Oh, so, oh, I'll be back for a skewer. All right. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Enjoy. You probably want some eating irons. We don't really think of every little detail. Those the kebabs. Thanks. <laughs> Eat nines. Okay, and it is time. Okay. Do you want to take this stuff back? Okay, which one are you keeping? Um, do you want to take this one? Okay, then uh, hand the others over. Hang on to that one. We'll put it over here for display. I'll take one more. Oh, man. Do you think I can do this? What if I drop it? Oh, man. Dollar a fork. Oh. We are not judging the beverages, but please feel free to enjoy. Okay, did they do a great job? Let's give them a big hand. This is the tense part. You can tell by the burble of laughter in the kitchen. Why don't you tell us about your dish, my friend? Well, it's like, very pretty. Yeah, huh? It's gorgeous. Okay, tell us a little bit about this finished soiree of festivities. Well, I did the vegetables and we put them in a circle around the frame of the plate. And I think Katie made the rice and she made all the sauces and everything for the vegetables. And Busy girl back there. For the chicken. And Jay was in charge of the chicken and she did that very well. And then I made the green onion garnish on top. Yeah, that's a lovely flour. Good job. What's the secret sauce in the stir-fried veggies? Um, it's a secret. Fish sauce. Fish sauce? And garlic. And Fish and chicken. And it's really healthy. It's really healthy. <laughs> it is, because that's vegetables yeah, and starch that's right. and the protein. You know how they make uh, fish sauce? What? You don't want to know? It tastes good. <laughs> it tastes it's all good. Done, it tastes good. Nothing so. to do with the fermenting anchovies or anything like that, right? Leaving them out in the sun to uh, bubble and thing, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. The survivors are going to love it. All right, what's in here? Is this beer? No, it's not beer. <laughs> it's not beer. <laughs> Good, it's a bit cloudy for beer. Chai. All right, tell us what's in here. Well, it's a Thai iced tea, which has chai tea in it, and... Thai chi? Co oh, yeah. <laughs> it has coconut milk in it, and we added mint, mint sprig, so really nice. Is it fabulously refreshing? Oh, yeah. Of course totally. it is, that's right. Thai chi in a glass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell us about your fabulous dish. I like the sail. One gust of wind and the bloody plate's gone. <laughs> well, um, for the base of the boat, we have the chicken, which is Parmesan chicken that's breaded. Did you take the skin and the bone out? I don't see a bone yes. in there. We, uh, fabulous. We decided to make it a, a little simpler. Um, then we have our Parmesan crisps. That's fabulous. I love the way that... It's just a big old chunk of grated parmesan there, huh? Yeah. It's so cute. Don't Look underestimate the taste, though. Don't underestimate the taste of the parmesan crisp. It's cheese. So then... Um, we had some in the back. Yeah. So <laughs> then we have our salad with our crouton under mm -hmm. it and uh, mixed with our salad dressing. And then Audrey actually needs to tell you about the... These are aioli. fried new potatoes with garlic aioli. Wow, that sounds yummy. So uh, you and you made the aioli. Yes. It's not just like mayonnaise mixed up with uh, garlic. It's no. It's good. So that's so a salad dressing. Oh, it's, yeah, I understand. 
A lot of people just get mayonnaise and stir garlic into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so how'd you make the aioli? The, some of the ingredients were lemon juice um, and egg yolk. Uh-huh. And garlic and some sour cream. Ooh. Salt and pepper and then mix it all up. Fabulous. All right, no calories in this dish. <laughs> unless you eat it. Should we do our show? You're going to do the show. Do the show. You're the yeah, show. Yeah, you could if you want. We were going to do a Broadway act, but I guess not. You could. You got the whole part. I love the hats. Thanks. You look oh. so tall. Oh, yeah. Look at it. The stars. Star. <laughs> oh, oh, and it's alive. Cranky. <laughs> do we know what's in the cup? It's a sunrise. A sunrise? Oregon sunrise. Oh, really? A real one? Yeah. With tequila? Really? No. Oh. Sunrise. Oregon Sunrise. We tried to keep it PG. PG, very good. Okay. Yeah. So what's in there? Pineapple, Sun. <laughs> yeah. And Orange, some lemon and lime. Orange, <laughs> lemon and lime. And the straw. I love the way that look. It's so sanitary. See the tip of the straw well, still got his like little thing on there. Little Isn't that precious? And you can take, you can blow down the end and hit your friend across the table with it. Yeah. Or curl yeah. it all up and make it. Go into a snake. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, good luck and good job today. Thank Excellent you. work. I'm looking forward to the results. Thank you. They're looking pretty solemn over there in the judges' table, except for the two guys who haven't eaten for three days. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, man, I'm glad we paid 50 bucks to get that ticket. <laughs> Dump all this in the trash can. I had a bottle of water for myself. For me. What? Really? Dore, yes. tell us how you feel about how the evening went. Um, it was fun, and I'm really glad I was invited for to coach their team. And uh, let's do it again. You know, and <laughs> <laughs> there's some more cooks out there, and that needs to do this event too. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. I can't help but get the feeling you're looking for recruits for your operation. Maybe like, hey, do you want? To oh. <laughs> There's management over there. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a couple of good ones there. Minimum wage. That'll be great. Yeah, we'll take them. <laughs> it's a surreptitious training ground right here. Okay. And our other coach, who seems to be very chipper. What? <laughs> How did it go for you? Uh, I, what, for me, great. Uh, my team, did, I'm very pleased with the, uh, the work that they did, their uh, cleanliness, everything. They did a fantastic job, and uh, right now it's in the hands of the judges. I hope they enjoy everything. Yeah, I think these teams did a great job. They uh, were very organized, collaborative, and uh, they shared the space really well. It's not the ideal kitchen for a competition. One stove and six bodies, plus the coaches and the irritating MC. I'm going to try it. Yeah, you guys scoring? I, I noticed the judges are just passing their partial plates up to the end to these guys. I don't, don't matter how much you eat, you still have to give the same score. You don't, like, double yeah, the numbers because you've eaten twice as much. It was good. I got, like, kind of a lot on there, so don't put too much on They've got their own competition going on over here. The peanut sauce isn't too strong. It was very good. I enjoyed it very much. Hard to judge. My scores were very close. They both did wonderfully well, and it was really, really close. Um, so I can come back tomorrow. I, I'm just sharing. I'm available tomorrow. <laughs>
I thought that both, both dishes were absolutely fantastic. And I eat a lot of chicken parmesan at this time of year, lots of banquets to go to. So it was really good. And I really, the vegetables were really well done um, for the uh, first chicken dish. So it was fantastic. I'm just going to pass it along because I'll just repeat everything that they just said. Every uh, plate had something really special. I thought the aioli was superb, and I thought that the vegetables were excellently uh, executed. <laughs> um, everything was great. There was nothing that I didn't like. Um, uh, Ghostbusters cooked asparagus. I don't really like it, but um, this was one piece of asparagus that I was actually able to eat. It's a good job. Um, and I've had uh, Parmesan chicken before, but not this way. It was delicious. If anybody's interested in the technical data, I think they're using a Moto Razor 3 cell phone <laughs> with its built-in calculator. I'm always amused by the modern technology. Now I have students that I used to make them bring a calculator to class. Now I ask them to silence their cell phone and use it as a calculator in class, because that's what I do too. Well, obviously the competitors aren't worried about the scoring. They're having a good old time back there. So how do you feel it went this evening? I think it went well. Yeah. We all had a lot of fun. Which is all that matters. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. Just want yeah. ice tea. <laughs> yeah. It was a little stressful. A little, a little more but rushed than last year. Felt a little less prepared. Felt, you felt Le more rushed? Less prepared this uh -huh. year. Why was that? Were you? It might have been because she didn't try her dish out before. I had to go to class. That's right. <laughs> it happens. That's right. So you, you not only did not practice at all, you actually went to class and did what you were supposed to do instead. <laughs> hey, we skipped our I, stuff. I, I hope that the, uh, <laughs> the three students on the judges' table pay attention to that component. Maybe you get extra uh, absolutely nothing for that. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. How are you guys oh. feeling? Pretty good. Can I take my star hood off? Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised with how good our team turned out because during the practice we just kind of like <laughs> didn't do it at all very well. But yeah. It looks great. It looks fabulous. I'm not, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. The chicken was delicious. Yeah. Thanks for saving me some. <laughs> I appreciate welcome. that. Even the stick was tasty. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been the water soap. Yeah, that, that was That's it, definitely. Key, yeah. definitely. Very good. Yeah, lots of tasty sauces. Very good. Glad you liked it. After multiple use of two Motor Rosa Razor 3s, <laughs> they've uh, gone over the scores uh, with great uh, care. We have, uh, gosh, I've forgotten the name of them now. The team Ghostbusters, their total score was 255 points. And Team Savage came in with a score of 200.